Anthony, what's going on? Huh? What's going on? Oh, I'm drinking tea. tea. He got this beautiful tea apparently from yeah, his friend. Okay. This morning we're eating some focaccia. Mom's eating banana. We have this, some apple and this brioche bun. But best of all, hazelnut cream puffs and two chocolatey things. Hi, it's Kate. Welcome to another day in the vlog of my vacation that I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, well, not really vacation because it's more like a college trip, but it's still really fun. And I'm seeing the United States for the first time, like the mainland at least on the East Coast. Hello, so I just wanted to clarify that this video is from June and I'm only posting it now, so enjoy! So today here we are at Harvard University, which is kind of cool. We weren't planning to come, but it's just so like historic in a way. It's like a tourist attraction pretty much, so we thought we would come. We wanted to go to the Glass Museum because my mom has a friend who has a membership, so I thought that would be kind of cool to see because it's supposed to rain today, unfortunately, um, but we've had such nice weather for all the other days, so I'm not mad necessarily, and it'll be cool to be indoors to check some stuff out. And then today I decided to put some barrettes in my hair because, I don't know, my outfit's pretty simple. It's just like white and these jeans and a belt, so it's like not that much going on. I'm wearing my cross huggies and dragon pendant. I've been missing your strawberry kiss. This is all glass. Look at that. Still crazy. No eyes. <laughs> so this right here is the famous guy and everyone touches his feet so he turned gold over there and his paint blurred off. All the flowers here remind me a little bit of Alaska. So cool! Like that. We just finished having lunch and now we're walking over to Seaport which is really nearby and I don't really know what they do there but my friend said it was fun and our other friend said it was fun so I'm just gonna go walk around and check it out basically. Guys, ignore my um, glasses that are supposed to be edgy but make me look kind of dumb. So we went to the store and I was just trying it on because I wanted to get a fake one in China, but then my dad said he would buy it for me, and I was like, what? So I'm super excited. I think it's like really good for like traveling and stuff, so I'm just really excited to have one, and I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. Because if you think about it, I buy like a lot of clothes, and that's like wearing, buying like two or three shirts, which you probably wouldn't use as much as a backpack. We are at this little park thing that we just found because I want to sit down for a little bit because we've been walking for a long time. So now we're in Chinatown at a Sichuan restaurant. For some reason, after getting off the car, my head hurts and I kind of have nausea, which sucks. And I don't know what it so the Chinatown here is definitely a lot nicer than the one in Hawaii because the one in Hawaii has a lot of um, stinkiness going on and a ton of homeless and this one has a lot less and it doesn't smell bad at all maybe because it's really windy so the smell goes away and I think it's too cold here for there to be many homeless to live because you would just die from sitting out in the cold winters. So today's video is sponsored by Power Ad and they sent me this portable charger to show you guys. So it's super slim. I have very tiny hands and it's so tiny even in my hand. I'm trying to like, okay, this is a phone to reference. Look at that. It is really, really tiny and super easy to carry around. I literally can fit my phone in my pocket with this. So that's how you know it's really good. Portable chargers are so useful for traveling because for some reason, my phone always dies. And this is super affordable and it's the maximum. It's like 10,000 AMPH or I don't really know what it's called, but it's like the maximum battery that this can have. So that's always what you need because my phone just dies. So I need the best that we can get. It also comes with this little protective mesh case that I just like to squish for fun and 
a charger so if you guys are interested in the power Eye charger make sure you check it out i will link it in description box and now let's get back to the boston video by the way dude i freaking miss boston so much so we just walked over to here at quincy market and i think we're also at the north end i don't really know exactly what's going on but there's a guy on the drums and he's just going at it and he's making this place very very lively and quite wonderful the hawaii collection which is super cool because giovanni shrimp truck which is in a vlog that i did leonard's bakery malasada rainbow drive-in and Honolulu cookie company it's like all like the cool stuff in hawaii that's really i want i love banan i go there all the time i'm actually in uniqlo and i never come here because everything's really like simple but i think that's kind of my style now and i'm kind of really liking stuff i definitely look like uh someone's mom in these but my mom wants me to get them because they're very nice and copper sorry there's nothing to see here um i don't know yeah I'm only responsible for what I say, not what you understand. I really like this shirt because it's pink and sparkly. Guys, these dresses are so cute. I don't know which print though, either this blue or this pink. So the first thing I'm trying are the this tank top, but I like the color, but I really don't know how I feel about this fit. It's like a little bit too long, but like barely. really like this dress a lot. My mom thinks it's a bit short. But uh, maybe you can just wear shorts in it, under it. So I'm trying the blue one on, and my mom and I both like this one better because it makes you look a little bit more, um, it doesn't show as many bumps over here because uh, we're eating kind of good, so uh, yeah. What do you think? I'm down Goodness, we were gonna get that, but it turns out that 30% off was only on Airy and not on American Eagle Outfitters, so everything, I we got two things and the total was 100 so we're like no 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 now we are on the way to mike's pastry which is like the really popular place Dude, those people are laughing at me <laughs> okay <laughs> but anyways we're going through an alleyway everybody kind of nervous about it <laughs> Now we're here in Little Italy, which is kind of cool. I've never been to a Little Italy before, but I did go to Little India in Singapore, so that's kind of cool. My parents met there. I'm really excited to try a cannoli. Would like to shout out to my parents who are accompanying me all this far away, even though I don't think they really wanted a cannoli at all, but I'm a sugar hoe, so we are gonna get sugar, especially if it's the most popular dessert here so I had to get it before we leave okay look at the line here we are so this is Mike's pastry okay actually okay here we go oh, the line's not too bad voila it's not that beautiful inside but hopefully the food tastes good so they have all the flavors here but I don't know what I want it's so cool Chocolate. Chocolate ricotta, that's mine. This is our ricotta. Wow. No, wait, this is hazelnut, pistachio, and chocolate ricotta. Okay. Wow. Ready? Whoa, how's that? What are you eating? You're eating the paper to get me drink? Oh, good. The paper tastes good. I really like mine because it has ricotta cheese, so it's not as sweet. It has like some tang to it. So I am a cheese lover, kind of chocolate lover. Woohoo! talk about that I've never talked about okay so a lot of times after I eat something my teeth are like really malleable and I find myself always going like like with my tongue and I like push the the top row of my teeth and they shift like I can feel them all moving like in place and I don't know I just find it kind of satisfying even though I think it's like a bad thing for that to be happening because your teeth shouldn't be moving but Hopefully mine don't uh, fall out or something, but I don't know. It's just something that like I've always done, but I've never talked about it to anyone ever before. And I don't know if other people experience this, because like, should I be concerned that my teeth are gonna fall out or I don't know. This is our hotel room view. I forgot to show y'all. 
It's so pretty. Somewhere here is the Prudential Center. It's connected to our hotel, so I think it's right there. And they actually have this thing at the top right there where you can pay money to observe the whole city, I guess. But we got it right here for free, so kind of cool. Oh, and in the reflection right there, you can see that there's a sunset. So we're about to leave the hotel again, and we're going to go to Chipotle. Because Chihu. I'm... Chihu. <laughs> That's a Hawaiian thing. Chihu. Because I've been really wanting Chipotle, and my parents are being dragged along for the ride. And you guys too. Huh? <laughs> Daddy, what's going on? Hi. Peace. <laughs> My mom said she's scared that someone's gonna try to steal her wristlet and then my dad started jumping and he said he's wearing his athletic shoes today So he got them Thank you very much You're welcome. Look where we are Chipotle <laughs> I'm quite excited Dude, it's been so long. I get guac, cheese, corn, salsa, chicken, and carnitas, and I think that's it. And for those of you who live in the mainland, you don't know how fortunate you are to have a beautiful Chipotle near you. Because I crave it so much. This is going to be my first time having it. I mean, second time. So the first time I ever had Chipotle was in August of 2018, which is last year, August, and then I had it again June of 2019 this year, and now it is November 2019, and I have not had it yet, so it's been hard, you know, like, in one year I only had it twice, so kind of rough, but, you know, we're going to the mainland next year, so I'll go have Chipotle whenever I do. That's the end of this video. Sorry it was an abrupt ending. I think then I went to New York the next day, so stay tuned for that vlog. These are all really, really spread out. Let me know if you guys still want to see this. Honestly, if you don't, I'm still going to post them though because they're mostly like for memories for me and my family to look back on because it was just really cute to like see this little like family trip. We finally went on a trip together and it was just really nice, good vibes, happy relationships, and this trip meant a lot to me, so I know like my vlogs don't always get a lot of views, but these are just for the mems, you know? And thank you for making this the end, and I will see you guys in my next video. And as a little spoiler alert, my next video is going to be doing college apps with me. Like, you know, like study with me's except college app version. So hopefully you guys will like it. I don't know. I think I'm going to make it into real time. So it's going to be like a two hour long video where you can just play it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Bye. I love you. Mm -hmm.